Welcome to the third MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to visualize accelerometer data in real time using vector and magnitude plots. We will be using the same hardware setup from the second tutorial. To summarize, there are five steps to follow in MATLAB. First, set up serial communication over the COM port. Calibrate the accelerometer to normalize readings in units of 1G. Read the accelerometer data from the Arduino. Visualize the data for each axis in real time. Repeat steps 3 and 4, then when finished, safely close the serial port. Let's look at two ways to visualize accelerometer data. Here's an overview of the script Vector.m. First, we enter the COM port, then we set up the serial port, calibrate the accelerometer, create a figure with start, stop, and close serial buttons, Last, a while loop is run while the stop button has not been pressed. It constantly reads acceleration values, clears the current axis, creates a line plot, sets axis limits, and calculates the angle of the resultant between the x and the y vectors. And then let's run it. Here's the result for the x-axis. When the accelerometer is not aligned with gravity, zero g's are measured. In a stationary position with the x arrow pointing up, a constant acceleration of 1g due to gravity is experienced. The tilt angle reflects the rotation of the sensor from one side to another. It is important to make the distinction that plus 1g doesn't mean gravity points up. Rather, the accelerometer is calibrated in such a way that lying flat it measures 1g, and turned upside down it measures minus 1g. Adding code for the other axes and the resultant in a similar fashion, we can generate a 3D plot. Note that when I rotate the accelerometer now, the length of the x, y, and z vectors changes as gravity is orthogonally projected onto each axis. The resultant maintains a constant length while changing in direction. The second visualization, in the script magnitude.m, is set up much in the same way as vector.m. Specify the serial port and set up serial communication. Calibrate the accelerometer. Use this code to add start, stop, and close serial buttons for a new figure. However, before the while loop, we add code to initialize the rolling plot. Create an index from 1 to 100, and then add a column vector of zeros for our x values. While the stop button has not been pressed, read our values from the accelerometer. After every reading, throw out the oldest values, shift the data, and add the most recent readings into the vector. Plot our data against the index and run the code. Here's the live plot of the x-axis acceleration magnitude. The x-sensor is perpendicular to gravity and the magnitude is zero. Standing the accelerometer so that the x-arrow is pointing up, the magnitude is 1g. Turning the sensor so that the x-arrow is pointing down, the magnitude is minus 1g. Again, adding code to plot the y and z axes on the bottom in a similar fashion. The magnitude of the resultant is calculated and plotted over time on the top. Each individual axis can be seen transitioning from plus 1g to minus 1g as I turn the accelerometer, y axis, and z axis. Disturbances along all axes, such as shaking the accelerometer, contribute to the resultant. Finally, keeping the accelerometer orientation fixed, motion along the axes not aligned with gravity, such as side-to-side -side movement, is seen as changes in the magnitude for each axis. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.